Cleaning and preparing data using Excel. Cleaning up your data and preparing your import file is a time-consuming process, but there are some tools in Excel you can use that will make it easier and faster. Click on any of these links to see different ways that you can use Excel to do the work for you. Sort and filter. Sort and filter makes it easy to locate duplicates, and filtering is a fast way to isolate certain groups of data so you can apply naming conventions or locate blanks so you can identify incomplete records. Let's take a look. Here's our account import file. We're going to use sort to clean up dupes and then filter to enforce a naming convention. We'll click into the column we want to sort by and then click the sort and filter icon on the home ribbon. Looks like we have a duplicate of 123 warehousing, so we'll delete that. And the second entry for demo looks like an incomplete duplicate, so we'll delete that one too, and this duplicate of Sandal. Now let's filter to isolate certain records so we can enforce a naming convention. We've decided to use the two-letter abbreviation for all states. There are several variations for California in our file. We'll click the drop-down arrow on the Sort and Filter icon and choose Filter. This adds drop-down arrows to each column. In the State column, we'll change from Select All to showing just the values that start with the letter C. Now that we've isolated all these different values we've been using for California, we can change them all to CA. And we'll turn the filter off. VLOOKUP VLOOKUP is a great tool to match Salesforce user IDs to the names of record owners or to match Salesforce usernames to the first and last names. You can also use it to match account IDs to their contacts or opportunities. We'll use VLOOKUP to look up a value here in our account file in another table. And I can specify which piece of information I want returned from that table. In our case, we'll be looking up the create by value and returning the Salesforce ID. Let's arrange the files so I can see them side by side. On the View tab in the Windows group, we'll click Arrange All, Tiled. On the left is the account import file. On the right is an export file from Data Loader. We've exported a list of usernames, IDs, and emails from Salesforce. We're going to be matching the first name in both tables so the value that you're looking up must be in the first column of your lookup table. We'll start in the first cell here next to David. Click the function button and find VLOOKUP and click OK. Click into the first field, Lookup Value. This first field is asking what value should I match with the lookup table. We want to match David, so click that cell and the cell address is written into the field. Click into the next field, table array. It's asking for the location of the lookup table. So we'll highlight the table and the address for that range of cells is written into the field. Click into the field column index number. This is the column of information we want returned once the lookup value is matched in the lookup table. We want the second column, user ID, to be returned, so we'll type 2. The last field is asking if we want an exact match, which we do, so we'll type in false. Now I can copy this formula down to the other cells and save. You're going to need to match account IDs to contacts and opportunities, and you're going to need to identify the owners of each account, contact, and opportunity by their Salesforce ID, so mastering VLOOKUP is essential. Paste special as values. Cells can contain formulas even though they display the value. These formulas are dependent on the cells they reference. If you delete any cells that are used in the formula, you'll get an error. Paste special as values allows you to convert formulas to their values. Let's take a look at this in our account import file. This is our account import file and we just created a VLOOKUP to match the created by column with the user ID. We'll use paste special to convert this formula to its value. In the formula bar, we can see that the cells hold formulas. We need to delete the create by column, but when we do, the lookup formulas display an error. Let's convert the formulas to values so we can delete columns we no longer need. 
We'll select the formulas, right click and choose copy. Right click again in the same place and choose paste special as values. You can see in the formula bar that the cells have been converted to values and now I can delete the create by column. Format cells. Excel drops leading zeros, but the format cells feature is a way to get around this so you can enter data that begins with zeros, such as zip codes and phone numbers. This is our contact import file. We've got zip codes where the leading zeros were dropped. We'll use format cells to reinstate the zeros. We'll select the column we need to format. We'll go to the home tab to the number group. On the number tab, click special and choose zip code, and that will fix the leading zero problems. Find and Replace Find and Replace is a workhorse for cleaning up data. You can use it to replace one value with another, and you can also use it to remove things like empty spaces. Let's use it to fix up some phone numbers. This is our contact import file. We're going to use Find and Replace to clean up the area code and phone number data. First, select the data that needs cleanup. Next, open the Replace tab. It's on the Home ribbon, under the binoculars. We want to replace any dashes with a blank, so type in the dash and leave the Replace field completely empty. Hit Replace All, and now those dashes are gone. Do the same for open parentheses. Close parentheses. and empty spaces. For empty spaces, we'll type in a space in the top field and leave the bottom field with nothing in it and hit replace. Excel has now removed any empty spaces in the selected area. Concatenate. Concatenate allows you to combine text from different cells together into one cell. Use it to combine area code and phone number or use it to combine two address fields into one or combine a user's name with an email suffix. This is our contact import file. We'll use concatenate to combine area code and phone number into a new column called combined phone. We'll click into the first cell. We'll click on the function button and locate concatenate. The first text field we want is the area code, so we'll click there. It doesn't matter that this particular record doesn't have a value here. Once we click on the cell, you can see that the cell address is written into the field. Text 2 is the phone number, so we'll click there. We click OK and copy the formula down. In Salesforce, if your locale is set to English, phone numbers are automatically formatted with parentheses and dashes, so you don't need them in your import file. Let's use the same tool to combine address fields 1 and 2 in our account import file. We'll create a column for the combined addresses, and click the function button to locate concatenate. Text 1 will be in this address 1 column, so we'll click there and the cell address is filled in. Next, we'll need to add a space so the two pieces of the address don't become a run-on. So we'll put that into the text 2 field inside quotes. If you're adding text, including blank spaces, they must be placed within quotes. And the last piece is address 2, so we'll click there. Our function is complete, so we'll click OK, find the fill handle, copy the formula down, and save. Text to columns. Sometimes you'll have data, such as usernames, that are in one column but need to be broken up into two in order to be imported into Salesforce. The text to columns feature separates them quickly. This is our contact import file. We'll use the text to columns to separate this contact data from one column into two. We'll add a column for last name and change contact to first name. Select the contact column and on the data ribbon in the data tools group, select text to columns. We have a delimiter. It's a space between the first and last names. So click next. Here we specify space and we can see a preview of what the separated data will look like. Click Next. The data format of our columns is General. Click Finish and then Save. Save as CSV. 
Save as CSV lets you save an Excel file into a comma-separated values format, so you can use it to import data into your Salesforce organization. CSV does not support Excel formulas or formatting, so it's important to note that when you save a file as a CSV, all formulas will be converted to values, and all formatting, such as bold or italics, will be lost. CSV does not support multiple sheets in a workbook, so only the sheet currently displayed will be saved. Let's take a look at our account import file. These cells actually contain the VLOOKUP formula we use to match names with IDs. When we save this to a CSV format, these will be converted to their values. Saving a CSV will also delete any other sheets in this workbook and remove any formatting such as bold or italics. Once we're done preparing an import file, the last thing we'll do is choose File, Save As. From the file type list, we'll choose CSV. And we'll be given a warning that we'll lose formatting, formulas, and extra worksheets. For more information, search for these topics in the online help. The following courses are available to customers with a Premier or Premier Plus success plan. Click on any of these titles to continue.